Hello, I'm Raul and welcome to The Nickel. We are going to work today with an image from the book Draw, book I illustrated, and it's this particular image of an elephant facing us, and we're going to work with watercolors and colored pencils, and you will get the chance to do your own piece with it. So let's go out there and have fun. Okay, so to start, first thing you'll need, get some paper towels and a glass of water so you can mix your colors. So these shapes I'm drawing, you will do in pencil. I'm using a, a Sharpie, but we'll start with a circle. And then after that, we can draw a straight line down and another one, almost like triangle shape. They almost meet at the bottom. A kite-shaped figure on one side of the circle pretty big, so you can see it's like a diamond. And then on the other side of the circle, we'll do another kite, diamond-shaped figure here. And after we've done that, we can do a straight line all the way down past the trunk here for the legs have these long legs, the elephants do. And there we go, we'll add eyes and stuff like that if we want later. So we can keep it that simple and you will do this in pencil. Now I'm bringing in my pencil drawing and this is what we're gonna do. After we have all these shapes drawn, which you are doing too, we're gonna apply some watercolor, and give it a nice wash. Okay, so here's what we'll do. We'll take some of this brown color here Put it here and we'll mix it with water, as you can see here. And I'm also using a little green. Let me wash this. I'm trying to mix that also in. So I'm just get as much as I can. There we go. So brown and green give me another tone here. Because I'm trying to turn this into a grayish, bluish gray color. So that's what I'm doing. I'm mixing brown and greens that we have here. Let me put some more green and some more brown. Let me get the brown. Let's see if we can get a nicer tone. I hope this, this washes well. And I may add a little blue to give it a little more contrast. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll start putting that grayish color on paper by mixing all those colors together. And it doesn't have to be exactly the same color as I have here, as long as you mix the colors well. And I'll try to, usually when you paint in watercolors, you gotta go back and forth. We can do it in, in every direction long, as long as it's wet enough. I'll finish this ear. There we go. And there's one wash. Now we can do the other ear. Okay, this is the forehead now, we're working on it. And as you can see, the way you're supposed to watercolor the correct way is this way, back and forth at the edge of each stroke. But we, since we have the paper flat, in reality, the paper should be a little up so the colors come down. But uh, we're playing with it today so it, we can do whatever we want with it. And there we go, we got that part filled in. I'll go for the trunk. So at this point, after you put in all your watercolor on all the shapes, let it dry for a while. You need the watercolor to dry, because on top of that, we're gonna do some more work. 
but it has to be dry. So give yourself some time, let it dry a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna use some colored pencils. You can pick the color purple, because we're gonna work on these lines now, make them a little better. So I'm gonna use the color purple here for the forehead. And I'll use some of, some of it to draw the lines. And we can add tusks if we want. And this is the way I, I'll do it. I'll do one on this side. We can do another one on this side. You don't have to worry about the shape of it as long as it's this kind of a triangular shape, long shape, curved in. Uh, that's it, and we can try to put some shading. So I'm gonna use the left side, this side, I'm a lefty, to shade a little bit. And very softly, you don't have to do it hard. Very nice and soft. We can add some sh shading. Some shade to the uh, figure. Also on the trunk, we can do it. All the way down on one side only. As you can see, I'm on this side. You can do it on this side if you want. We don't have to color the whole thing in. Just give it some shade. And sometimes it spills a little bit into the ear, the shade. So you can do that too. Here we go. On this side, we can put a little shading also if you want, but not that much. Anyway, if you want to color the whole thing with pencil, you can do that too, because we're going to play a little bit with the colors. Sometimes light hits these uh, uh, figures in a different way, and we can use orange a little bit on top of it if you want, where the light might hit very softly. Give it a little contrast on one side of the face. And if I put yellow on top of it, I can make it even lighter. You can mix those kind of colors. As long as they're similar colors, orange and yellow. If you put blue, you'll ruin it. It, it doesn't show that well. But as you can see, I can put some yellow on this side and the blue on this side or the purple on this side. We'll have a nice contrast. I'm gonna put some more uh, orange down here on the trunk very softly and on top of it we can mix in the yellow again and so on and so on so you can do this for different parts of the uh, body and you can di get different effects and colors uh, so uh, as you can see here there's many more colors you can use so if you want to feel free to use other colors from the box you can do that and uh, make it uh, as interesting as you want. Okay, so I hope this is working out for you. That's good luck on your project. And like I said, just uh, enjoy using all the colors you can if you want. And uh, have fun with it. That's the important part. Have fun with it.